All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, a few weeks ago or months ago, we've been tasked by Switch to provide the ability to theme or brand uh, video content. And um, today, I will show you a quick demo of what that actually means. So what is this about? Um, currently, the current implementation allows us to uh, create um, bumper at the beginning and at the end of the recording. And that's done through the admin UI and through um, the workflow process. So we can define which, which intro video we want to have on all the recordings within a series. And then um, as, as, as the recording gets processed, um, those, those intro and outro videos get uh, concatenated to, to the recording. Um, in order to implement that, we had to um, implement a new sta static file service, which allows us to upload those uh, artifacts to the admin UI, through the admin UI. Um, we have the ability to brand um, single and multi-stream videos which you will see um, in a minute. And um, as I said, currently the implementation in the, is on the series level. So we can define a theme for a series, and then all the events that gets processed uh, will have a theme that is automatically applied. Um, also, the all-in-one workflow that we have prepared and that we are actually using on our demo infrastructure um, automatically checks whether there is a theme for that series, and if it's the case, it will apply it, and otherwise it will just skip the, the, those uh, steps, which makes it very easy, so you need only one workflow. You don't need to create separate workflows to, to use the themes. Um, I'll give you a quick demo right now. So here I'm logged into the admin UI, and uh, from the, uh, from the main navigation, we can go to the configuration section. I'm not sure if it's big enough. Um, to make it easier, I've created already a few themes and series and recordings, but I will um, quickly show you how it works. So we can define here um, name and the description. And then we can, that's where we upload the artifacts. So we can enable the, the bumper, so the introduction bumper, simply by, uh, by adding here. I have already a set of videos. See, the progress bar doesn't show too much because I'm working lo on the local host. Um, so it looks really fast. I can add a bumper at the end of the, of the video as well. Um, if I made a mistake, I can easily remove that and select a new one. And all those files that get uploaded through that gets that get uploaded through the um, the static file service get automatically clean if they haven't been used. So you can upload a bunch of trailers and bumpers. And um, if you you know if you make this three four times and and you have those files sitting on the server, they will get automatically cleaned up um, in the in the back end to avoid uh, keeping unnecessary files on the server. And then once you're there, you can submit it, and um, you see that it gets um, it just got created here. You can obviously delete them, edit them again if you want to change one file, if you want to deactivate. Um, you say, oh, no, actually, I don't need any, any intro video. You can actually remove it this way. From there, um, you go back to the, uh, to the event and series uh, tabs. And uh, you can create a new series which will use that theme. So in this case, I will just show that. And um, this is actually the uh, extended metadata tab, which uh, Christoph was talking about um, on the previous talk. And, and that's how it actually uh, shows now that I'm in there. 
Um, you see that the date pickers come automatically when it's a date format that is defined. You see that a checkbox comes automatically when a um, Boolean type has been set, and so on. Um, here, that's where we select our theme, which I will, I will use this one, the new one. You can also remove it and create the series. So now my series is created, has been, uh, the theme has been applied to that series. Now what's left to do is add a new recording to it or a new event and um, add it to, to that newly created series. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've defined which series it should be, uh, that, uh, that event should be in. Here again, some extended metadata. And I will simply upload uh, one presenter file. So that's a simple video. Here I will skip those cutting and review. I will publish that event right away. And then it's being uploaded and then it will show up in the list in a second. Yeah, it's there. There you can see that the, the processing is currently running and if you go to the, to the, to the details, you can see the workflow that is being um, applied step by step. Um, it refreshes every few seconds so that you can actually see the, the, the progress. And a little bit uh, somewhere down there, you will see uh, the uh, theme application, the concatenation, the concatenate operations, which will show up. But sometimes it, it takes a little while, so that's why I have uh, already created two branded um, events. And here you'll see that all those here we apply the theme, and then we concatenate those, um, those, um, those videos together to generate the, the, final, the final video. And once this, this is done and completed, I think it's this one, yep. Um, so that was, that's the one I created previously. Um, and you can, you will see that, is it centered? So that's the uh, intro. Then we have the actual recording. And then we have the outro. And so this is on a, on a single stream recording. As I mentioned before, we can also, we can also um, do dual stream. And that's actually the same. And we see the, 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 the concatenation operation is applied to both. There we have the, uh, the slides or, and the intro and the outro are applied to both uh, streams. Okay. Um, so that was it for the demo. Uh, now what's coming next? Um, as I mentioned, we have uh, currently only the possibility to apply or we have to apply a theme to a series in order to, to have the, uh, the, the, bra the branding applied to the recordings. Uh, we are planning to, um, to implement a default theme which we can configure and say, okay, you know, every recording that, that is for this tenant will, will be applied this theme by default. Um, that's one of the one of the next uh, um, feature that's going to come. Um, we have um, we're planning to add the watermark here. Um, that's another feature that is planned. So the watermark, um, the license slides, where we can uh, where we can define okay where is going to be the um, a license slide somewhere in the in the video, maybe in the beginning or 
completely at the end of the video. Um, the cover image, so the dynamic generation of, of an image, and Basil's going to talk about it in, uh, in a minute. Um, so we can, uh, we can have a layout with metadata, and uh, but Basil will, will tell you more about it. Thank you very much. Does anyone have a question, remarks? Hi, uh, Stefanos Georgopoulos from University of Erlangen and uh, Nuremberg. First of all, thank you, Entwine and Sweet, for a very useful feature. We're waiting a very long time. Um, my question, if someone plays a little bit with FFmpeg, he will realize that the concat option, um, if it doesn't have the same uh, width and length the video, it will fail. So the new admin UI, does it somehow rescaling the intro, outro, or needs a specific um, width and height depending on the main video? That's a good question. Lucas um, <laughs> is the man. <laughs> Hi, um, yeah, the concatenation can be configurable. Um, you can choose the video you want to have as the, um, the concatenation intro. Okay. Yeah, so you can you can set in the in the in the FFM pack, or yeah, in, a in the workflow configuration, you can choose the video which you want to have um, as a master for the the resolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the other ones will be scaled to to yes, that uh, resolution. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so that's done in in the back end. That has nothing to do with the admin UI. No, that's just a workflow configuration. Okay. I can ask you later. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyone else? Any question? Okay. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you.